Welcome back to another episode of the Wheel Hill Show. Today, I got another one of my comedic homies, Sid Moore. Sid, tell the people who you are. I'm uh, I'm Sid Moore, man. I, I'm, I'm I'm a comedian. Been doing this for a little under a year, but I, I feel like I'm getting the hang of things. You know, I, I, I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely enjoying it. Oh, shit, we in the same boat. I'm like, just over a year. Just over? Oh, yeah. shit, okay. okay. So what made you want to do comedy? Shit, my whole life I've been doing comedy. <laughs> Man, if I didn't make fun of my life, I, I, I'd probably go crazy. <laughs> I mean, uh, you remember your first time going on stage, or what was that like? The first time I ever went on stage, honest to God, was about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I only say I've been doing comedy for a year because... When I finally got on, it was an open mic. Mm -hmm. I was so blitzed out of my brain <laughs> that the only thing I remember was a couple of guys heckling me. <laughs> what was and I at? spent the, th this was actually at uh, Zany's. Okay. When Zany's had open mics, right. I, I, you know, pre before COVID. well before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> and I went up there and I literally just blazed everybody that had anything to say to me. Forget <laughs> any material. There was no material. I didn't know how to write a joke. Right. I just knew, like, you know, when your friends, it, it was like this. I told my friends, like, hey, I'm about to be a, com you know, I'm about to be a comedian. Right. It wasn't like, what? It was like, oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Right up your alley, right? <laughs> now, um, what was the first joke you wrote? The first joke I wrote was about a situation that had happened in high school. Mm -hmm. I got a, a pretty homeboy. Th this is what I call him. You know, like every big name. You probably got one, too. Yeah. You, you probably do. I'm already knowing. It, <laughs> and it was just me and him. And because he would, you know, he was Mr. Steal Your Girl. Right. That would cause a lot of fights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, like, people didn't want to fight me but they wanted to fight him, but they, but they knew, knew y'all was tight. Right. <laughs> to so, fight him, they got to fight you. <laughs> it was a time, it, they, it was like, Jesus Christ, they pulled up on us like 15 deep. Oh God. It was me, his older brother, mm -hmm. and him. And when we got the, 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 the fighting, first it started off, I only seen like one car. <laughs> it was about five people, you know, and they all hopped out. My brother's older homeboy, who I thought, hey, this is a big dude. He working out. Right. I seen him. First nigga to get creamed. Oh. Knocked out. Like one hit a quitter was up? He got one. It, it was like this. He punched him. He tried to punch him. <laughs> like, th this is what we used to say back in the early 2000s before we hit somebody. Yeah. He looking stupid. <laughs> and then you swing. When he swung... He slipped or something. Don't know what happened. I don't know if the other dude connected with him, but it turned out that he was just knocked out. Like I'm, I'm going to fast forward to the point where he's knocked out on, <laughs> on the, the ground. ground. Okay. I'm looking like that was a heavy hitter, <laughs> <laughs> and he gone. <laughs> gone. Hey, look, I think it's about time we take off. <laughs> and then it turned into. Him fighting with the dude that he took the girl from, mm -hmm. and everybody else jumping me. <laughs> it's, it's a one-on-one -on -one with them, but <laughs> it, me and you. It, it was 30 on one with me. Damn. We somehow won the fight. What the fuck? I, I, I'm not, I, I wish I could make this up, but <laughs> I, I put this on my daughters. We won the fight. <laughs> I turned around, and I blacked out. I don't even remember what happened. The Jeez. way that the story goes is, when I got jumped on the ground, I just stood up like Jesus <laughs> and just started swinging and tackling and beating the hell out of people. But when I came to, there was a guy who was linked up on the tree, and I just remember taking my knee in his head and just, bow, knocking him out. UFC, huh? So it was like four people knocked out and then everybody else run into that car. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga real. <laughs> let, let me say that there was never an altercation with him and anything. He, he kept taking girls. He kept yeah. doing it. But there was never a situation where it came back that, like, we're going to fight about this. Right. You know what? I don't think I could ever have an altercation and have 15 niggas pull up like that. I don't think I, I know. No, it started with five. <laughs> you don't get it. More people. I don't know how, if they multiplied or, like... 
you know, like they hit a Mises box, you know, off, off Rick and Morty, like they kept hitting the box. I don't know where they came from. But all I know was it started off with five people. Uh. Three on five, big dude, me, I played football at the right. time off the creatine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, cool. You know, that this seems like a fair fight. All right. But at the end, when I realized that there was 10 niggas that was on top of me, <laughs> it wasn't such a fair fight. Mm, Make no sense. Like, there was Mexicans in Oklahoma that I've never seen before. <laughs> Man, Mexicans popped out. There was more black people. Like, it was only, like, 10 black people in our school. I went to school in Jinx, Oklahoma. Okay. Uh, out in the boonies. Mm -hmm. it, it was, like, 15 of us all together. All together. And, like, nine of us played football. <laughs> you know? The rest played basketball? The re no, well, well, we had like three thugs and two that played basketball, and I'm not even counting the black people who aren't really black. Black, right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> their color says black, but their attitude Everything says else. ever. You know, other. <laughs> Heavily tanned. <laughs> right, that's all. You know? We even had exchange students, like all, all types of brown people, but we was the only, like, as far as niggas, yeah. like, it was about 15 <laughs> niggas there. And for some reason, why we don't like each other, I have no idea. But like, you think all the black people at a school, well, my graduating class was 1500. Mm. And you would think at a school like that, the black people would stick together. together yeah. No, 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 we don't do that. These my uh, white hoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we, we, we don't do that. Fuck out of here. <laughs> now, I remember my first fight. It was, it was a bar fight. And um, it was uh, a jump in type situation. I don't know if, I think I probably told this story before on the podcast. <laughs> Um, but long, long story short, I was at a bar. I was with the girls at the time, and two of my homies, Danny and Albert. And um, some shit happened. They had like a party room, like upstairs. Some shit happened. Drunk dude knocked over the cake on a birthday dude's shoes. I'm in the bathroom taking a piss. And the dude sitting there, <laughs> like wiping the shoes. They were sway. I'm like, bro, circles. That's sway. You <laughs> like, what are you doing? You go, look at this way. Circles, man. Get a little water on that circle. Get, that's how you get that shit. He like, oh man, appreciate you, appreciate, you, appreciate. You. I'm like, yo, why? The whole time I'm sitting at the urinal. I'm like, yo, what happened? Yo, being nosy and shit. Like, man, some drunk dude just knocked over my cake. Ooh. Then a drunk dude walk in there, and he trying to apologize. The white dude, and dude just start. Wah. I'm like, yo, wait, stop, man, leave him alone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he's like, you know, he drunk because he was just eating them, man. He wasn't moving backwards. He was just eating them, boys. I'm like, yo, stop. He's like, all right, man, we cool, we cool, cool. I appreciate you. I'm like, damn, man, wash my hands yet. So, right. like, <laughs> I wash my hands. And I, so, like, we've been in this place a lot before. So I go run and tell my homies, yo, this nigga just got his ass whooped. You know, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? He just got his ass whooped in the bathroom. I don't know why, nigga, he just did. Like, <laughs> we ain't never seen nothing like this happen here. So, uh, man, we going about our night. My one homie, Albert, is always at the pool table. So that's what he doing. Me and my homie, Danny, we just kind of circling around. But I got to attend to my girl because she was dead at the time. True. And so, like, next thing you know, we hear a whole bunch of footprints coming from upstairs. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Is a stampede in this bitch? What's up, bud? And, <laughs> and so, like... The drunk dude was sitting behind the pool table, and everybody just come downstairs to jump him, right? Right. But this was like, I'm telling you, it was like so far away, like, from what happened. I'm like, now nah, y'all mad? Like, the fuck? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's like they relived the moment or some shit. Like, right, right. And so they come down there to whoop him, but my homie Albert got stuck in the middle of it. Now, Albert can fight. Yeah. So Albert caught in the middle of it, but he just poop Jones, Bones Jones, motherfucking <laughs> bowing niggas and shit. And he get up dumb cocky, G. He get up, yeah, how your face feel? Like, <laughs> and why he talking shit is another dude with a pool stick finna crack his ass. So I see it, I can't let it happen. So I Superman punch him, five. Right. And he go down, and I'm like, oh, nigga, I got it. Like, <laughs> I didn't know I had it in me. <laughs> nigga, I got it. So me being me, all right, let's go. Close the tab, get the fuck out of here. Hey, babe, go get the car. Hey, nigga, get close the tab, let's get the fuck up out of here. And so, um. Albert went somewhere. Danny closed his tab. I closed my tab. My girl got the car. And so we leaving out. And so obviously a big brawl kind of broke out. Right. Glass everywhere and shit. We get outside. So the dude I knocked out, he get up. And they like, yo, what the niggas at? What the niggas at? Woo -woo. And dude like, hey, they go one on right there. I'm like, yo, hold on. I ain't one of them. I didn't really do shit. And so the dude birthday was, he's like, no, he cool. We was cool in the bathroom. No, he cool. He's like, no, he knocked me out. He swung and I, boop, he went down again. I said, oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. And, like, <laughs> and so, <laughs> yo, they just start rushing. G. It, it felt like maybe seven. I don't want to exaggerate say ten. I don't think it was quite ten. But let's say seven. Mm. Now, like I said, me and Danny walked out together. I don't know where Danny went. 
gone. gone. All I know, I'm fighting seven niggas. And so they run up, and I'm doo -goop, doo -goop, doo -goop, and they going down the whole time. I'm like, stop playing, man. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then some niggas snake me. I had to get stitches. Then they trying to, nah, they, they want to try to pull me to the ground and shit. Right. They ripped my favorite shirt. I'm still mad about that to this day. This that's, was that's horrible. This was, <laughs> yeah, just about. But I was I was going ham on them fools, G. and I, I you know what I'm saying like it's just one of, for me it happened in such slow motion because I just didn't think r niggas really got knocked out with one punch, Dude. let alone that I can like just do it for real for real. But I was duking, they falling over each other. Like, maybe they tripped, but I'm gonna take my knockouts. Hey, like, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, a knockout is a knockout. Fuck you, mean? We used to play that game back in the hood, catch them, knock them out. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so, how it went. You know what I'm saying? They ripped my favorite shirt. Mm -hmm. Then the cops came and. I'm on 10. I'm on 10. One of the people, I, it takes a lot to get me on 10, but once I'm at 10, I'm there for a while. Mm -hmm. I only can calm myself down. And so I'm arguing with the cops and shit. I'm talking shit. Like, <laughs> and the cops, because they come up to me trying to arrest me and shit. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm the one bleeding, my right. shirt ripped, and you looking to take me to jail? Well, fuck your pussy ass. I'm just going ham on them. I almost went to jail. My girl like, calm down. Like, bitch, I told you to get the cop. Like, <laughs> fuck you doing out the cop telling me to calm down. At the time I had like another shirt and cop popped the trunk, put on another shirt, and I'm still arguing with the cops. I look over at my friend Danny. He roundhouse kicked somebody in the face. Then the cops come put him in cuffs. I'm like, yeah, my friend in cuffs. We the only black people out here. Y'all come out here only want to arrest us and shit. I'm, I'm going crazy. This shit, shit was crazy. But that's my claim to fame, though. I, I laid out four or five niggas that night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the last bar fight that I got into, it, it was with my brother over there. Yeah. This was about, I want to say it. Seven, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. You say about seven, eight years ago, right? We ended up out of our territory, basically, to go to, uh, you know, a cousin party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, we out there. And, uh, you know, at first I want to point out, you know, again, we out of our element. Right. And we... I'm in the beer garden hollering at a bitch. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on my thing. I'm doing what I do. I'm out there smoking the square. Uh, I, I'm talking shit with her. And again, just like you hear, you hear that, 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 that thumping around. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you hear these niggas fighting. <laughs> so, of course, I run in. I see the guys that I'm with. And I'm going to go protect the guys that I'm with. 100%. So... I'm swinging, bow, bow, giving it to him, knocking mm -hmm. him out left and right, just laying them out. I'm not playing with you. <laughs> and the guy that I was with, he hate when I say this. Like he he get real, he get real <laughs> mad. But he turned around and he clocked me in my jaw. <laughs> like like he turned around, doop, boom, bam, jaw just hurting. <laughs> like I can't really react to it because I'm here for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I turn after you swing on me, I turn around and swing on somebody else. <laughs> like, everybody that I don't know is going to catch it. We just transfer the power. So, like, <laughs> again, somebody tried to snake him from the back because I'm fighting one dude. Bow. Yeah. Knocked him down to the ground. I see him getting ready to go snake the same dude that just hit me accidentally. So, I catch him in the back of the head. He hit the bar. Bam. He goes down. Yeah. Like, he got two hits. <laughs> like, like, one from the fist, one to the bar. Damn. So I'm fighting, trying to get up out the door. I'm just, I'm fighting. I'm throwing blows. I'm pow, pow, on mm -hmm. the way out the door. And there was one dude that was literally in front of the damn door. And it was like the only way to get through that door was to go through him. him. Yeah. So, bam, my football tackled his ass out the door. <laughs> and my lion. And once he hit the ground, bam, I'm throwing more blows at him. Police, just like you, was actually outside. There's a dude standing there, sitting there talking shit. He wasn't even really doing nothing, just talking shit. Swung on his ass, too. He mm. caught it, hit the ground. Now, the adrenaline is keeping me going. But right. what I didn't know was that I have torn muscles and all types of stupid shit. Oh, God. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little you older, you know shit. what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like, I wasn't feeling nothing. So, my neighbor's sister, uh, shout out to me, yet, yeah, she threw me in the car. Took me straight to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and then we see him again woofing at the hospital. Stop. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm not playing. 
they, they still at, at the hospital wolfing. Oh my god! And I'm like, hey, y'all. Then, then it came to a point like y'all on our land now. Cut that out. <laughs> 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 That's the like because the hospital was literally on 93rd. Okay. And we all from 93rd. <laughs> so, like, you can get the, the, the wood. Like, come on. You, you hey, bro, should, we, had, you, we all have the hospital. You, you shouldn't you. have went to that hospital. You know, that, that, you should have found you another hospital to go to. There, there was plenty in between then and there, you know. Like, you could have went on to Mercy or something like I was that. Saying, like, was it known, you know what I'm saying, that they was fucking with y'all because y'all wasn't in y'all element type shit? No, no. It, okay. It, 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 <laughs> it, it, the, okay, the, the the guy that I punched at the time was with my little sister. Okay. The guy that punched me, I'm sorry. Okay. He, he's with my little sister. Okay. And I guess the story, the, the way the story goes is somebody had touched her booty. Mm. He didn't like the situation. Fast forward. Again, I'm Superman and somebody out the door. All right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I mean, sure, I don't have all of the de- uh, Like, I wasn't necessarily in. I, again, I was out in the beer garden. Right. Doing my thing, trying to, I'm trying to score that night. You know, like, I had the ball. Like, we on the one yard line, and then they go ahead and get 17 penalties and put us back <laughs> on. <laughs> put, me, put me back on my own 20. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, I'm like, I'm, I'm knowing, hey, this night is about to end well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Didn't go like that at all, Jack. At Not at all. all. Like, it, we, we got, oof, it got bad, man. That shit crazy. All right, fuck it. Let's jump right into the bullshit. True. Um, let's talk about, real quick, let's talk about Lori Lightfoot. And um, what you want to know about Mo Lightfoot? <laughs> <laughs> How she had made the statement that she's only given interviews to reporters of color. You think that was a good move, bad move? It was a great move for black people, but it was a horrible move for politics. <laughs> 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 Let me put it out there like that. Like, I love her for it. Right. No, but, yeah, uh, right. more power to us. Right? You know what I'm saying? But, like, you got my vote. <laughs> you hear me? But I don't that know ain't if that's enough. enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's going to get you over. You got to. It's, it's not enough black people in Chicago. At least one that vote. Right. To, you know, to, to take over. Well, you, that can legally vote. You can't forget about that. You can't, you can't forget about the legalities. Oh, yeah, but she said only black. She said only what? No, no, she did no, not say color, only black. Bad. She, only, she said color. people of color. Get it right, right. now. Like I mean, it could, it could have been a Puerto Rican. It could have been a Mexican. It could have been an I Iranian. Say, uh, what's what's your melanin count? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm uh-uh, just saying. somebody else. So like, is it wrong? It's like, are you going to say it's reverse racism when y'all had like a five hundred year start, dude? I guess, I guess, uh, to play devil's advocate just a little bit, I can't. This is one of the, the rare times where I can't even fucking argue. Right? Yeah. It's like, I guess it's the reverse race. It's weird to say that because there is no reverse was, racism. <laughs> no, but, you would have uh, to literally be in power to then turn around and have reverse racism. Uh, hold on, I got, I, well, I got another question. I guess to follow up that one. Okay, but um, uh, so. Exactly what you said. Great move for, for co- people of color. Right. Terrible tell a political move. Like yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's like as the mayor of Chicago, which is still mostly white, yeah. how do you go out and say that, right? I feel like you can imply that. Yeah. You could just not accept any interview from someone who's yeah, not a you didn't color. Have to, you didn't have to, to go put it out there. A statement. <laughs> There's definitely ways of doing things. Right. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? She could have did the same move, but then it only been black people in there at the end. Right. Just not, <laughs> no, you didn't no. have to announce your move. And that's like brave as hell. Like you, you get my congratulate respect. her for that. You know what I'm saying? You know I don't knock the her for that. Put it on the table. But what I hate is that then you gonna turn around and say that it's disenfranchising other people. Wait, what? Like of white people? Yeah, like nah, you're, you're somehow disenfranchising <laughs> white people? Like they ain't gonna be able to eat. They can't get a fucking like, interview. But, <laughs> but daily, the original daily, yeah. the, not, not younger daily. Yeah, the came, first daily, the original daily. He only had white reporters. That's it. And put it out there like that. That's what it was. He made sure that niggas didn't even come outside after a certain time. <laughs> so you mean to tell me I'm supposed to be cool with what he did, yeah. but then I'm supposed to turn around and have be some type of her, you know what feelings saying? toward what she did. Hey, hey, That's crazy facts. as hell. And I, I have spitting no fucking facts. I ain't got shit to say. Like, like, <laughs> like I have no 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 qualms with what she did. But as, if I was 
in political power. Yeah, I would have did that a, a different that's way. That's a bad move, bitch. Don't uh, do that. <laughs> I was just saying, like, like maybe, Come maybe, back. <laughs> maybe she don't want to be mayor no more. So like, maybe she's like, fuck it. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it the way. She I will go want. out and go out with a bang. Right. Like, I'm, what I, you get four years as a mayor? <laughs> is it every four years? I thought it's four years. Can you uh, double check, Mr. Producer? No, no, she because she's half time now. She can't, yeah, she half time now. So I think it is four years. I think that, she's that, a that's two why three we got in. computers in our hand. Right. <laughs> I, I figure, I figure. I'm about to bring you my other phone. So how long shit, is Mayor? <laughs> <laughs> you should have just typed that shit. Because the way that four shit years. came hey, out, it came out term left, four years. Four years. Okay. It's definitely four years. <laughs> it was like. I know what this nigga mean. Uh, <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> All right, so the other question I have behind that, listen to what you said. Do you think black people can be racist? It's impossible. Do you know what racism means? I, I do. Okay, now, right, if you, on, by, let's, let's, let's by, by, by simple definition of racism, black people cannot be racist. Explain, explain to people who might not know. Okay, for you to be racist, it has to do with power. Who's in power? Who runs things? Who is the majority? Majority can only have power. So, yeah. look, looking at this this definition from uh, my phone here. Go ahead and ring it off, because <laughs> I don't need no book. I don't it's need a, no. no. Racism. It's a noun. And I'll just <laughs> <laughs> uh, say prejudice, discrimination, or, oh, now I feel stupid because I can't say this word. I'm gonna skip that shit. Directed <laughs> against someone of a different race based on their belief um, that one's race is superior. Ha. Ah, there it is right there. Superiority. That's what I'm talking about. Right. So at no point in time have we ever dealt with superiority. Maybe mentally, because we all know. Look, look, that, that, we're we gonna I, skip I, the I facts. Ain't, here. I, ain't about, I ain't about to get you canceled. <laughs> I can say something can't that cancel, can't cancel me. <laughs> I ain't gonna stop doing it. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. But but basically, it goes like this. Oh yeah. Ra racism can't come from. That's like. So 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 people say racism is systemic, systematic. Racism comes from a form of a system, right? Because of who's in power. So. Just based off that definition, I'm gonna be I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. It's just believing that one's race is superior. Now yeah. we're not in power here, but if man, fuck, white people just been taking over shit for not a long even. Time. You, you want to say Africa? I you wanna, do, do, a lot do you of remember Africa apartheid? Over, yeah, a lot, a lot of apartheid. A lot of, I'm sorry, no, apartheid. A lot of places in Africa was taken over by the Dutch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, colonized. Yeah, straight. Why do you think they call white people colonizers? <laughs> I'm just saying. God like, if we gonna keep I'm, try, I'm trying to argue the fact here. If we're going to keep it 100, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, you can't. What you apologizing for? You can't step on. You didn't on, do history? You can't step on these points and then not have me point out the facts of those steps. Uh, no, I mean, I, I do agree, right? That uh, It's no, hard not to. That, that racism uh, can only be performed when one particular race who think they're superior is in power. Yeah. Could have direct effect of the other race's livelihood right mm. um but I, I, I don't know i still somehow some way still believe black people could be racist it's impossible <clears throat> it, it really is impossible. i, I, I don't I th can I think you be biased <clears throat> can black people be biased no, hold on. no see I, black black people black people can be biased no black people and can be biased and all the other stuff right there, and there is a there, there is a prejudice which comes from prejudge Right. And so you're only judging based on the cover more so than anything, and we definitely do that as a race. But racism, you cannot use that word without properly understanding what racism means. You can right. call me biased. You can call me, uh, um, you know, uh, well, I guess bias is the worst that you yeah, can really call that's me. Prejudice. Much yeah. Prejudice. You can call me prejudice, and, and that's fine. But the fact of the matter is, if we're going to talk about clinical definitions of certain things, right, right, there's no possible way that anyone in this room can be racist. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't think so because only because mainly because that um, if we were to 
Let's say if we was able to get another Black Wall Street up, you know what I'm saying? They're it, going it, to tear it down again. I'm just saying, if let, let's say we was able to get it back up. And I live in Tulsa. Could, I know the history of that. Could, do you think racism could form then? If we if we was able somehow to unite, get our own neighborhood, our own shit, then could there be racism from black people? That means that you would have to reverse everything Willie Lynch did. Which is impossible. Everything that Willie Lynch set into motion. Mm-hmm. We're still living by that day. No, 100%. Like, I talk about light-skinned people all the time. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't because they're black just like me, right? Right. But they purposely did that to give us another step for us to come together. Right. So if you constantly divide, I mean, I make jokes about it all the time, but we're being serious right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love my light-skinned brothers. I love, you know, like, anyone that even has a drop of me in them, you know, or not. I love all people. I just don't like people who don't like a person. See, I feel like you can make a joke out of it when you understand it. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't understand, you know what I'm saying, yeah. where the difference between light skin and dark skin, why we, fun, why we fight amongst ourselves and they just do it just yeah. out of force of habit and being um, conditioned to think that way. So when you understand it, then I feel like you can you can make a joke about it. Right, wrong, right. left, or right, colorism, whatever, yeah, however you want to say it. Whatever you want to say about it. Once you understand it, you can make a joke about it. Um, because when you when you truly understand where it comes from, you're not saying anything in a place of hate. You're not saying anything to harm nobody else. You know what I'm saying? You're saying it as a joke because it, you're saying it because you see it in real life. But let me ask a you a question though. Go ahead. Do you believe in Azalea Banks? Do I? Be- in, in, in what sense? In the sense of her own beliefs. Which is like I'm not how she can attack and then feel attack when no, anybody says anything to her. I don't. She she's wrong and people should attack her more for that. I'm just in my in my whole humble honest opinion. Mm. The fact that you think you you can cry dark skin woes, right. and then you can attack everyone. Then as soon as someone says anything to check you, yeah. now you've been attacked your whole entire life. Right. Fuck that. Fuck okay. that. All okay. the way to the fullest extent. Like, that's a pussy-ass move. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So we definitely agree on fundamental shit then. Right. You know, it, it, it's, I love to call people out on their shit. Right. And, and if I'm ever wrong... Call I me out on my shit. Call me out. <laughs> because I want to be right. Enlighten me. Where am right, I wrong tell, t- tell me where I'm wrong. <laughs> and then I'm going to go back. I'm going I'm to first self-check it. Yeah. You tell Just because you said it. Don't mean I'm necessarily going to believe exactly what you said because it's still coming from another human and we all flawed. Right. So I'm definitely going to check and figure out. 100%. You know what I'm saying? What you're talking about. Azalea Banks is. I only bring her up because maybe Azalea Banks can be racist. But like. I mean, how? Don't, don't start backtracking now. No, no, don't no. Start no. backtracking now. No, 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 no. <laughs> to, I, I'm, I'm only honestly joking when I say that. It, 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 it's all comedy, man. Like, it's all comedy, for real. Like, I so just, black people could be colorist. Definitely. Yeah, I, definitely. That's, that's a problem. Like, it, it's, it, it's a difference between joking. Do you think white people could stop being racist? That's a loaded question. Ah, <laughs> I <Yeah>. got him. <laughs> Let me put it like this. Mm-hmm. If you walked into a casino and you knew you were going to win consistently over and over and over again, mm-hmm. would you stop going to that casino? No. <laughs> no, I'm saying, basically, I'm asking, can they be stopped? Is, is this something? Yeah, yeah, it can be stopped, but you have to... Acknowledge the fact that it exists. Yeah, a lot of people don't, and uh, like, and then you want, and then they want to fight with you. Like if you bring it up to them. No, because my best friend white, he 100 percent white. He grew up privileged, not mm-hmm. necessarily. His dad, I, no, I, I'm the best man at his wedding. Shit, his dad, they didn't play that shit. Like right. every man is the same. Don't you dare treat nobody different because the color of their skin. It's, it's it's out there, right? right. There are parents out there that do that shit, and so. Um, they didn't, you know, he didn't grow up seeing color. I hate not seeing color shit. Like, bitch, you're not a dog. You right. can see color. You can, you can recognize the shit. You know what I'm saying? You can recognize the you shit. You know we're different. Yeah, like, you know quit, that. quit fucking playing. But uh, they didn't, they didn't, no prejudice. Right. No, no prejudice. Just treat everybody the fucking you're same. Right. And so, uh, but we, we, all, we often, it seems like now more than ever, have these talks about how the world kind of don't want us to be friends, how we shouldn't be cool and discussing these things. And it's it's a lot of things he don't understand 
And I'll be honest, there's a lot of things I don't understand. But see, here's the thing. When you go to China, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what everybody in China is? Chinese. Exactly. When you go to no, you go you go anywhere, you go they, anywhere they else country. in the world except Everybody's for there. America. Right. We are the only ones that are submented. Uh, we are the, You can be you can be African American, Chinese American. No, the UK the UK is, is rarely rarely no, because they they, 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 they they have a lot of people from because it was the first hub. You know what I'm saying? Because they had yeah. slaves too and shit. Exactly, and, and so, that's why black anywhere that you they, see they, black they, people they had, outside no, saying, Africa. It's, it's in that in that Western European, that British, UK, Ireland. I ain't gonna say Ireland. Um, oh, they Italy, were a part of it. it, it, it no, they, they got in. Yeah, no, they got their parts. They got in. Um, <laughs> no, they. But they they had they had slaves. So they, once the slavery shit was abolished, I ain't gonna say over. Mm. <laughs> was abolished. Those people stayed there. So they they have a lot of it's a lot of black people in the UK. Mm -hmm. But they have their they know their roots back to Africa. So I like, hope I, so. I know this one guy I used to work with. His name was... I fucking forgot because it was African. It was long as hell. Uh, <laughs> you know what's crazy? Um, I can't even trace my roots back to Africa. Nobody really can. But I can trace it back to... The, my slave plantation? No, I, I can trace it back to Jamaica. To Jamaica? I can trace it back to Jamaica. I, have, I haven't really tried overseas. Um, but I, me and my mom, we traced ours back to uh, Mississippi. Um, fuck. What? I forgot the town name. I used to know like, hatred Mississippi. It don't matter. No, um, <laughs> nah, So like we fuck. Because like if I want to trace it back there, it's Alabama. You know, yeah. it's either gonna be Alabama, Mississippi, uh, uh, Georgia, Louisiana. Or Louisiana. Yeah, that, that's where you are gonna end up back to. One hundred percent. And lot, I mean, I but that's not where we really began. That's no, why they and wanna, I, I hate that though. I hate that. That's the story. They you know don't want. They don't want to tell our <laughs> full story. Like shit. To be honest, we don't know it. They don't know it. How we? How they gonna tell us some shit they don't know? They, they gonna fuck where they was grabbing us from. They ain't like, oh no, we got this one from the Ivory Coast. No, this is a Congo nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we was all niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here, here's that's, that's, what all, that's, that's why they ain't let nobody practice their original shit. Here's some crazy shit right here. Go ahead. We do want to blame white people for what they did. We do. We want to blame white people for slavery, but it's uh, not all on white people. How you think? Do you really think that they went to Africa snatching up niggas? Okay, what, what are you getting at? The point is, they got rid of lesser than tribes. Yeah. Just here, take them. Yeah, we, we it wasn't really beefing. here. Take them, give me some money. Right, you know, we some, beefing it's some people over there. Right, and no, then just go get them. Right, we've been trading on ourselves for a very long time. It was all Willie Lynch did was enhance what we already had and no. thought of us already. Fuck no, well, fuck no. That, that, well, I'm well, telling you, well, Willie Lynch. Hold on, no, 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 no. no. Speak knowledge. I'm telling. No, you. Okay, drop it. But I'm gonna I'm speak how I feel about it too. And I feel you. Willie Lynch has shit to do with the actual slave trade. No, 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 no. So, it was it was how that once they got the slave. It was how to keep them and how to have generations of slaves. Yeah, that ain't got that to was his step by step book. 100%. But I'm just saying to get him to that point, we already had to be broken fundamentally anyway. No, uh, it's like it, it, it is just like a pimp and a hoe. It is just like a pimp and a 100%. hoe. You can't turn a hoe. You got to break that hoe before. Yeah, but they got to be damn near broke already. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I feel you. I feel. I, I swear to God, I we didn't come understand. from good circumstances. I understand. Like I said, these, these were lesser tribes that was given up. Yeah. And uh, why you think you can run into an African today and they look at you sideways? Uh, look, I get it. <laughs> I I'm get what saying. you're saying. I get what you're saying. But to me, these these are two different things. These are two different things. Um, so when they when please they, explain how they're two different. No, I'm, I'm explaining. I'm so I feel like at first, remember, I, I feel like you, you tried to rope Willie Lynch into the slave trade, which we can't. No, that's, it, that's it, not. It, it's just to extend it. That, right. That was my only point of bringing right. up and Willie these, Lynch was to keep it going. Okay. And, and then these these lesser than tribes, which they took the whole tribe, mm -hmm. and um, and then of course they separated them. Right. Um, they killed the elders. Mm -hmm. we, we don't want. We don't know. We we don't want any wisdom in this group that we Rape got. The women. Because that's, that's what you where have to do. Kids came from. We know that. That's what you. That's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. You have to show them you have control over the women. They was uh, was bull daggering or whatever. Mm -hmm. when they fucked mm -hmm. the man in front of everybody mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. again establish dominance. You Which was tell Christmas me? was based on bull dagger. But that's another. That's, <laughs> that's, another, that's another podcast. That's another, <laughs> 
I don't think we want to go <laughs> that far into the rabbit hole right now. Uh, but um, no, so um, so that was fuck. So that was another way to break them. And I feel like you're trying to say that the lesser than tribe that they brought over here was already halfway broken. And to yeah. me, that's not that's that's not the case. That that was just not the case. They had bigger tribes telling them where they was at. They was able to get captured and all that other stuff. Yeah. Then they started immediately implementing these things to help to start breaking them. Because the strong ones they killed immediately. The one the ones with any type of mental capacity to yeah. fight them, they killed immediately. Or they did whatever they could to break them in front of everybody to show what mm -hmm. could happen. So when you when you do that execute tribal leaders in, in front, front of the entire yes. tribe. So when you when you do yeah. that, that, I don't think these people was already broken. Was it some? Yeah, I, it was some very small tribes who really probably didn't have no real leadership. Somebody who broke off from another tribe was a sub tribe or some shit. You know what I'm saying? That that there's, was not. There's tribes in Africa that would die before that happened. That's all I'm pointing out. A hundred percent. But if, like, if, if you, you, would kill, you would kill off that whole tribe in Africa before. Do you think that not, they that let didn't you happen. put them on that boat? I, all I'm saying is it wasn't as hard as you think. No. With but, the help. With the help of their own people. You're right. With, with the promise of gold and riches and all the stuff, that stuff won't happen to them. And we know that they went back and still got the people that told. You know what I'm exactly. saying? They, they missed no fucking stone. No stone unturned. So I don't, again, I don't I don't agree that uh, that there was already some fundamentally part some fundamental parts of them already being pre broken before come over here. Uh, Willie Lynch imposing his his mm -hmm. his letter his book to 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 get them under complete mind control. I don't think so. It was some paragraphs. That's all. You know, I mean the letter book. Mm -hmm. However you want to look. I don't I don't think so. I I think that they went over there with. With this whole thing, knowing how to break a human, because that's what the fuck they was already doing yeah. to themselves here and to the natives of America beforehand. You know what I'm saying? Like white people created pimping. A hundred percent. So with, with, with that being with, okay, with that being said, that's that's why I, that's how I feel. Those two differ. I, I I feel like Willie Lynch is not an extension of the actual. Uh, slave trade or slavery in itself. But it do was you, the but do you know who the pimp? Do you know who the pimp targets? The, the weak minded. The ones that didn't have their daddy around. The ones that, you know, they they got raped when they were a young the age. The weak minded. The, the, the messed up ones. Right. The easiest to break and have them controlled and doing what they did. Agreed. All I'm saying is the same rule applied back then, too. This is not a new concept. You're right. I agree. I I, I, and I also agree with you saying that some tribes would 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 have much rather have everyone die. Yeah, but, right then and there because we before you enslaved me. Yeah, but then but then like they also preach the narrative that slaves didn't fight back when they was here. They they don't want to say that shit. We all know Nat Turner. We all know his story. There that were is there not, were people that made it to America, right? And had so much happen to them that they finally broke in the opposite way. That's where your Sedrona troops come from. That's where your Harriet Tubman's come from. Because they were all slaves at one point. Right. They just had well, enough. I say, and not that, slaves, captured. She was definitely captured. But, like, she wasn't even... Like, when you bring up Harriet Tubman, you have to realize that she was not... She was actually born in the United States of America. Right. She wasn't born in Africa. Mm -hmm. As we know, as generations go on, we become more defined, and we put our asses out there way more and more and more. The uh, more I'm telling you. No, I, I agree. Wrong is wrong, and I don't. I don't think you can out. You can beat out. You can teach out wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We know wrong. That's why people continue to fight. And again, I feel like a lot of history books exclude Nat Turner and all the uprisings, all the revolutions. I did that on my own. I read all them books. Yeah, because I mean, they're not going to teach us. Because they ain't going to teach and us. A lot, and a lot right. of people don't. Because they, they don't want to know. They don't want us to know. Again, they want our history to start at slavery. Yeah. That that then then all of a sudden Abraham Lincoln thought it would be better for it not to be fucking slaves. You know what I'm saying? No, Abraham Lincoln only freed the slaves because he needed help. We we understand that. I was just I was just saying that just as, saying, as a footnote. Like the only reason that Abraham was like, "Hey, we can use these niggas." Right. All right. So next thing I want to talk about is uh, Chris Rock blames cancel culture for boring entertainment. How do you feel about that statement? Uh, uh, the true, not true, fake news. It's not. It's not fake news, but it is. Like, I don't know. Either you're going to go for it or you ain't. No, I think you do have to um, somewhat be conscious 
of the stuff you're doing, right? Yeah. Because I hear all the time trans people get upset when a non-trans person play them in like a role in a movie or something. It's like, and if you if you have a, a not a trans person doing a trans role, they'd be ready to cancel the whole thing. You could have hired a trans person. I hate to jump back on this. I do. Go ahead. No shit. But Maybe. like there was like like there's a white Jesus. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if anybody yeah. if anybody has to have an attitude with anything, can it start with the black people? <laughs> like for once, can it please start with, with no, black see, folks? No, see, I feel like a lot of people bandwagon what we have paved. Because that's, yeah, that's the person they go to. And everybody jumping on our backs with it. And but, like, can we get our pay off first? <laughs> we, we still get like, watching. I'm sorry. Shit. I have no disrespect towards trans people whatsoever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, none. Like, y'all cool people. Do what you do. Still people. You're still people. You're still a human. And no matter what you identify as, I identify as you. I identify you as a human. Right. At first. The day. Right. But what I'm saying is... Let black people get theirs first. <laughs> like, we've been fighting the longest. I don't remember a trans slave. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, I mean, we dealing with fairly new concepts. Fairly new. But, like, it's just, like, in my opinion, and, and Jesus Christ, like, white people want to hate me. I, I swear by the end of this, if anybody is listening, white folks is going to hate everything. I said. White folks invented gay. In my opinion, white, like, we ain't going to get into the Christmas. We ain't going to get into all the things that we literally celebrate to this day and how it dates back to butt fucking. <laughs> But the fact of the matter is, if you, you know what? Is, hey, hey, fuck if the you, rest of the topics, I, I don't, I don't know how shit go back to butt fucking. If you could please explain. Okay, like if you bring up Christmas, uh -huh. right? Christmas was basically a celebration of gay sex. If you look it up, look up where, where, where are you looking? Uh, hold on, <laughs> since we're gonna break this out. Okay, Google. <laughs> what was the original celebration of Christmas? Christmas was a Roman celebration. Holla at me. Keep going. Hold on, wait. Holla, let me what, see. What, what does a pagan holiday mean, brother? Hold on, wait, because they can't hear him. So I know they can't hear. But say, what do you say? What, what do you say? Hold on. So, uh, so Christmas, was really a pagan holiday. Christmas was really a pagan holiday, which we know. You say celebrated by the Romans, right? It was, it was celebrated by the Romans. Celebrated by the Romans. We know how they got down. Paganism is a term that comes up a great number of spiritual and religious beliefs. Some of all of those beliefs known as pagan. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so what were you getting at? Say? Okay, basically it was a celebration of lights, but then it was also done with male-on-male -male sex. Huh. This was the Romans. Like, if you look back in time mm -hmm. they they missed so much african history but they kind of start at the romans shit like that right when they talk about you ancient know what i'm saying when they talking about ancient shit mm -hmm. and that was the original celebration but somehow they turned it into jesus christ's birthday <laughs> when they were talking about gay sex huh. this is real this, this ain't a joke like Anybody listening, I, I, I bet, please dig deep into this. Then I'm going to definitely hit the comments if y'all got any um anything else to add to this. Okay. <laughs> Holla at your boy. Wait, wait. No, it's just images that popped up that threw me out. Let me image this shit. No, for real. Y'all got anything what, what, what were the... Y'all got any facts? The, 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 producer, the, the producer literally just said that there was some pictures that shocked <laughs> what, what him. See? Now, I'm going to ask him, what did he see? For what? What do you? What do you? Illustrations do you of man on man shit. You not come on. Li, li. You put in pagan holiday origins. Sexual, with sexual orientation. Sexual orientation with man on man. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we got to the bottom of that. Literally. <laughs> and they threw that into a Christian holiday. Why is it that we can let go of everything in slavery but Christianity? 
Because it's what they want us to believe. No, but why are we still believing it? That's not our history. Hell, Kwanzaa ain't even really our history. <laughs> I'm so tired of Kwanzaa. <laughs> like, I mean, with black folks, they making shit up. I mean, man, I feel like everybody got something but us, so like they, that's that's their best bet. But nobody's really doing any uh, historical digging. Exactly. Where, you know, where, where, what we should actually be, I guess, celebrating. But to me, at the end of the day, what do we need to celebrate? What do we need to know? I don't. My thing is, what what is it that we need to know? We we need to. We know, can't move forward until you know you know your past. I, I we understand. need to know that we were disenfranchised by our own. As well as white people taking advantage of so. That sounds like Chicago. I had just seen something from another comic was saying like, yo, he never got so much love until he left Chicago. Who, Kanye? <laughs> no, no. It was a comic. It was a comic. Uh -huh. He's down in Atlanta now. It was like, yo, he gets so who, much who love. Who is the comic? Him. I don't fucking, I don't really know him. I mean, I most, like, writing, doing what I did, I used to work for music blog, so mm. most artists, period, say I feel so opposite because I, I I do want to point out the fact that like I love my raggedy ass city. No, you can love like, 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 like I love my city, and I feel like in the bucket ass and, the city. and I feel like I can make it in Chicago. Yeah, because people people know Chicago's most resilient people. If you can make it, yeah. you can make you can do good music here. You can make people you laugh can, here. You right, can do good art here. You can take that anywhere. You can take it anywhere, and right. it translates. Mm -hmm. Like, but. We got to have the big shoulders because it seems like the target is all on. One. When I go out of state, when I'm talking to my guys that don't live in Illinois, all they know is the tragedy that happens in Chicago, but they don't know how beautiful and how dope this For motherfucker real. really it's, is. It's a lot of shit going on, a lot of positive shit. And it, and it is. It, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of killings, but like I think they, they, they fantasize the killings. You know, it's like today I woke up. And every morning I watch WGN News. Mm -hmm. Like, I start off with WGN News early. And the first thing that they want to say is how many bodies came up. Yeah, every weekend. Like, how many? And, and even if they didn't die, they still got to tell you how many were shot. Mm -hmm. And that gets out. That's all they hear. Yeah, no, nah, for real. But they don't hear about how dope the food is, how people are coming together, how people are making things happen. You know, like... Chicago has some of the most creative people 100%. on earth. And we don't need a job to make it. We don't need a nine to five legit to make it. Right. You know, the legal way. <laughs> like, like I'm just, no, no, I, I'm, I'm not saying selling dope. When I ain't going you can to do that, that anyway. <laughs> I ain't going to that aspect. You can sell dope anywhere. Like, shit, there's probably more crackheads in Atlanta than it is in Chicago, to be honest. <laughs> Just saying, you know, but like you can make it in anything that you truly set your heart to do. Yeah, in Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that about this city. I love it that like if you into just doing positive things, it's a rare occasion when you come up missing a dead. You know, it's like it's those, it's those people that live in that life that it keeps happening to. Um, it. Little kids, unfortunately, they get hit. They do. You know what? You know, I got a funny joke about well, premise. I'm thinking about trying to turn it into a joke. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I think a lot of innocent people get hit from these dudes shooting because they all can't see. Because every time you see them in court, they got on glasses. I'm like, <laughs> Is that why y'all couldn't hit y'all target? No, you no. couldn't see them? Right. <laughs> right. You in court with glasses. Nigga, shoot with your glasses on, nigga. Then yeah. maybe you can get who you trying yeah. to get. Then yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Like, I mean, it used to be like, if you, if you was a gang member in the 90s or if you was an aspiring gang member, <laughs> <laughs> like, they would teach you how to shoot. Yeah. Like, if you go back to the 90s, a lot of people got hit, but it was the right people. Gee, because we had, we still had a code, we still had a hierarchy. We didn't shoot at schools. That's because that's because again, we had a hierarchy. We had some of the OGs yeah. around, but they used Chicago as an experiment. Yeah. It's the only city where they went and took out any fuck it, any black man of any quote unquote gang power. Took out all the leaders. 
So the, the secondary yeah. leaders, the third, anybody who they came and attacked them, they, yeah. anybody that could have led the game in any type of direction, left, right, up, down, they removed them. I'm not. A and then, then they arrested them and they shipped them all over the United States. Yeah, lot, they didn't. They didn't put them all in Cook County. Yeah, not a lot all. of them stayed, but some whoever they thought was the smartest, they down in Colorado, uh, 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 New Mexico. Arizona, that's what they, they moved them all over. In my opinion, we would have been better off with the Larry Hoovers and the Jets. No, 100%. Courts but still it's, it's out. Proven. It's not even, to me, it's not even an opinion. You know what it's, I'm saying? it's proven. Because like, when you look at the other areas and they talk about the gang violence, it's crazy. It's, 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 Chicago is known to be the craziest because we got all of the renegades. Yeah. We got, we got, we got all of Everybody got to break off and do their every, own thing. Every, every other block is a different game. But that comes from <laughs> that comes from the crab in the barrel mentality. That too. But then, but again, you, you, took, you took away the direction it was going. Right. And you just let it grow wild right to see what the fuck will happen exactly you see what happened it's wild like it, it, <laughs> wild ain't the word <laughs> like hold on we actually do not make the top 10 list of most dangerous cities in america is louisiana still number one detroit is number one. Oh, i can accept detroit, detroit like detroit like detroit is fighting for water <laughs> like, I, I get Detroit. Like it, it's grimy as hell. Yeah, I East St. Louis is terrible. Yeah, and East St. Louis is horrible. Like that, they, they, they've always been up there. But these, I mean, but these are low poverty areas. Yeah, well, high, high, high poverty high areas. Poverty areas. <laughs> yeah. Peoria, Danville. Danville. Well, because let, let me explain that. It may not be, but are they you, you have to, capital shit. No, you have to follow Section Eight. You have to literally follow Section 8 to find out where yeah, crime you, happens at. Right. You can map out all crime by where Section 8 is taken. <laughs> not, not, not I'm even, laughing because I agree. Not, not even playing. Like, I'm this, laughing because I agree. Serious. So, like, if you have a dense population of Section 8, like, let's go to uh, 62nd and King Drive, mm -hmm. a.k.a. O'Block. Right. Bang, bang. Bang bang. You ain't gonna be able to make it up out of there. Like you need to know somebody in that type of situation. Right. It's not a healthy environment. It's like unfortunately that's where one of my weed does live and you know, like I don't I don't go there. Dude, I, had, I I knew a chick who stayed up in the over there. And Definitely like, had one of them too. And like I swear to God, I'm like, bitch, come down and get me. Like no, no. So like, just come to the no, I am not. At all. You want to fuck? Come down and get me. And yes, you have to walk me back down, bitch. Like, <laughs> I tried to have a chick. Meet Unless me. I left like early in the morning. Oh, yeah. But you can't be too early in the morning. No, no, I'm talking about like, like crack of dawn. You got to be six o'clock. Yeah. At six o'clock, you might be able to slide out. It, it, it's certain times. Like six to nine. It's certain times throughout the day where you can get up out of old block without really having to worry too right. much. But, like, there are certain times where you should not be there either. <laughs> and that's one of them Chicago things. Either you know or you know, you know, like. All right, fuck it. Well, uh, la last topic, then we got to get out of here. Last we, topic. We got to go tell some jokes. Definitely. Uh, let's talk about J. Cole. No you said what? I don't even feel funny no more. <laughs> <laughs> so, talk about J. Cole. The one, uh, there, there's apparently a guy um, saying that J. Cole position in the Basketball Africa League is disrespectful to the game. Is that a statement you could agree with? I don't know, to be a hundred. Let, let, let me oh, tell you okay. like this. I saw J. Cole airball the fuck out. <laughs> we can like, find think, anybody that airball though. No, I think that shot went viral because it was like more than one. And he wasn't doing well. Like <laughs> I can I can say that he's still a good basketball player. Mm -hmm. He's just out of basketball shape. And it should be even maybe it's a little unfair to to put him into the African League, but maybe it's not for the simple fact that he's going to draw more attention to your league by him being J. Cole, who is a national selling artist. I mean, not national, globally selling artist. Yeah, no, I mean, he did gift everybody with Puma gear when he left. Of course. Um, so, like, even if it was a publicity stunt. I was going to say, but how many times have we seen a washed-up star... Go to a team just so they can fill seats. Here's the not thing. to say he's washed up. I don't. I don't really know. I don't know how old you are, Will. How I'm, old are you? I'm, I'm 31. You're 31. Do you remember Master P playing in the league? I do. Okay. Was that fair? 
No. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to start, let's start from the beginning. Then we can work our way back to J. Cole. You hear me? Like, and he went to the African League. He didn't go. Like, Master P disrespected the NBA. <laughs> Fuck the African League. Like, you went to the African League, you probably made them more money by going to the African League than 100%. they had before. 100%. I don't, you know what I'm, I'm saying? So, like. But the rest, okay, so the rest of the dude's statement, he was saying that, uh, you know, J. Cole was pretty much taking food out of another player's mouth. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else who has been, you know, striving to get to that point, they missed a year because of COVID, you know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, here comes rich-ass J. Cole come over there collecting a check that somebody else could have been collecting. J. Cole don't need the money. Do you honestly there. think J. Cole's collecting the check? Let's no, be, a, I, let's, let's I, be whatever honest. Whatever money he's getting from there, he's probably giving it right back. Exactly. Come on now. That poop will get one free fuck you. <laughs> right. it, it, let, let, let's be 100 about it. That's all I'm saying. Let, let's be 100 about play, it. I'm playing. Nah, J. But, Cole could have been a publicity stunt, but it was the best thing that could have been done for an African league that was probably on the fritz man, anyway. I, 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 it's hard for me to say because he did. I didn't even clock the African league. Dude, I didn't even know this shit existed. Exactly. But now you know. <laughs> so you, you gonna, know so you mean to tell me that by J. Cole being a part of it. Game, <laughs> but J. Cole is a part of it, though. And by him being a part of it, you don't think that brought them no, hella more 110%, money? 110%. So I'm are, sure you, are, are you looking out for jersey? Are you Just looking out for the, the J. Cole jersey? But are you looking for the individual player or what's best for the league? Because I feel like whatever's best for that specific, uh, specific team that leave when he leaves is now going to have you know better shit. Or they're going to be better. They're going to be better off. That, that's all to it. They're going to be I better off. I, 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 I seriously. Do not hope that um, that it was all publicity. That J. Cole had like zero business being on that team. Because I'm not, it's, it's I'm not, I'm not going to say zero because he has hooping ability. Right. That was, that, 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 like if there was saying. if there was no ability he whatsoever, he did, did that. His but stats again, would, his stats would have been ten passes and two shots attempts. Ma like, <laughs> Master P played in the NBA. Do I have to keep bringing this up? Master P. Percy Clock Miller, Na minutes. nasty left hand jumper. <laughs> Clock in the was NBA. Was in the league, the real NBA, not not African league, not <laughs> not not even the Canadian league. He was in the NBA, the I same NBA that we watch with LeBron in it. He was playing. He could have been playing alongside <laughs> LeBron. I don't think you understand this. Is that fair? Now. He was taking money out of somebody's mouth. Ma Master P was really. <laughs> I, I would How hope that he you talk spot? about J Cole and not talk about Master P. At least J Cole went to another league. Like he didn't try to get into the I NBA. He did. What are you talking about? Well, of course he tried. I'm sorry, but like <laughs> we saw past that here in the NBA. <laughs> they could have put J Cole in the G League. He wasn't even good enough for the Jews. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Because me and J. Cole about the same age. I'm, I'm sorry. You're not entering the league no, at 31. No, you're not. 30, 31. Actually, J. He's older J, than me. J. Cole is like 35. Yeah, he's older than me. Yeah. As a matter, let me do this one more time. Okay, Google. How old is J. Cole? He may be 36. I don't think he's. I don't know. Look, 36. Okay. 36 years old. So, of course, he's going to the African League. <laughs> he spent too much of his goddamn life rapping. Uh, all right, right, I, think, I think he went to New York University, if I had to. Like, I, I know I'm, he went to school in New York. I'm not sure. It where. was like New York University. He was a walk-on. Like, I'm not going to say he's trash, but he definitely had more talent when he was a walk-on mm -hmm. yeah, as yeah, opposed to now. To now. Like diminished skills that you really didn't even have to begin with. <laughs> just uh, saying, I just he did it, more for that damn African league, yeah, than Master P has ever done for the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep going back. Like maybe you ain't hearing me, man. Huh? I don't think it was. He J. was Cole didn't make it past preseason, but he still he paid his way onto the NBA team. He got that 10-day contract. <laughs> he, he definitely got that 10-day contract, and he took money. He took money. He got bread for that. All right, man. Let, let, let's get ready to wrap it up so we go. Okay. So we go try to be funny. Definitely. Uh, any last thing? Yeah. Oh, any, any last anything? Any hot topics you got? 
any any strong positions? Um, are you? I ask this every fucking time. Are you are you a conspiracy theorist? <laughs> what do you think about flat Earth? Let's <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, do you believe in aliens? I definitely believe in aliens. Yeah, I definitely believe in aliens. <laughs> I'm not a flat earther. I know that this motherfucker's round. It only makes sense for it to be round. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it like it, the gravity and the roundness. It only makes sense. No, I mean they explain all but, that but, shit. But but let me tell you about aliens though. Oh, go ahead. This is the reason why I believe aliens are 100 percent real. Go ahead. You would have to be the most narcissistic person on earth <laughs> to think that God just stopped on this planet. Like everything else is just destitute and gone. But like for some reason, Earth was the place where we gonna have some shit. Right. That's stupid. We are not the only living beings out in the galaxy. Okay. We just are too far apart scientifically. And I mean, shit. I mean, the, 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 the fact of a light year <laughs> is, is like as a, a, a tool for measurement, Mm -hmm. It's baffling when you understand what a light one light yeah. year yeah. is insane. And the stars that we see right now, you know, when it's dark, you can see the shining. Right. Those are millions of light years away. Yeah. A yeah. light year. We. I don't think it's, it's a, uh, a human who's not in that field really understands how quickly light travels. Mm -hmm. You turn on the light switch and immediately you see that right. motherfucker. To understand a light year, it will have to be a delay on your light switch and say like five minutes, then you'll understand like, oh no, that light has been on for five minutes. Right. But I've only just now seen it because it had just now reached my eyes. Like, that it's shit like, is crazy. Light travels faster than sound. That's why you see lightning before you ever hear thunder. Right. That's why you They come together fire. because the fact that the lightning <laughs> comes out makes a sound right but it flashes so bright and so fast that you don't hear the thunder until some time later i mean yeah i mean you can use that as measurement too but you can use uh you know people on their motorcycles it distorts yeah. the sound yeah. because it's taking the sound the longer time to hit you right like oh but just just the, just the quickness of the speed of light just you know just some, sometimes just sit down and think about that that these stars even if it was a, a hundred light years away true the distance it take light to travel, I think we, we would just really seriously just never be able to, to comprehend. To comprehend. So we're never going to get well, there. Dude, like 90% of the stars we see are not even there no more. We're just uh, not even there. We're like, what, a, a hundred thousand miles away from the nearest moon? A hundred thousand from our current moon? Like, like, no, I'm talking about our moon, period, to oh, get no. to our moon. It, Producer, it, how, how far is the moon from Earth? It, it's something ridiculous. Yeah. But, like, to even get, to get to another planet? <laughs> like, there was just some robots that just recently landed on Mars, on that, Mars. They, that they put away, like, years ago. <laughs> So over miles. over two hundred thousand miles. Ah, dog. That's over two hundred thousand miles. We don't comprehend shit. We don't get it. How long would it take to get from the Earth to the Moon? Eight hours. That ain't that bad. But it, it's, on, it, it's on it's on it's on it's on rocket at, at going speed, light speed. At what speed? It's light speed. No, we it's, can't go light speed. We we have not uh, gained the ability to move at light well, speed. Well, we move at the speed at the speed of sound at least. At least, yeah. No, nah, yeah. We we at least made it to sound. Yeah, that's the uh, sonic booms. Yeah. yeah. Break the sound barrier. So depending on where the moon is at, it takes about three days. See? Depending well, on where the moon is at, that's three days. At what speed, though? Travel to during that time, spacecraft travels at 240. God, dog. Miles to yeah. 240,000 miles, which. 240,000 miles an hour? Can't be. Because it, 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 the moon's 240,000 miles away. So a, a rocket can't be moving that fast. Distance. That's, that's distance. distance. Uh, but during what time, though? What time frame? It say three days. So it's if it takes three days, then you got to break that down by hours. But we ain't got time yeah, for that. I am not. Yeah. But not look, <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. But my point is, we barely understand what's going on. We don't even know what's all in the ocean. 
So you mean what to tell say, like me that you're going the ocean has been discovered? Yeah, you just going to discount sp- space? <laughs> <laughs> you think we the only ones here? There's animals on Earth that hadn't even been discovered yet. <laughs> you know there's aliens out there. It ain't that hard to figure out. Yeah, no, I think when we be keep finding out like alligators that's hundreds of years old. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> the oldest living dinosaurs are alligators. Sheesh. Not even crocodiles. Crocodiles is actually a manifestation. Yeah. But it's a fresh like, water, right? alligators are pretty much the oldest animal that we have walking is it, is, in the world. No, is alligator freshwater? Alligators are freshwater, yeah. And crocodiles are seawater. I thought yeah. crocodiles are older than alligators. I, I believe that alligators are older than crocodiles. I, I, I'm, I'm mad because, about like, <laughs> because it was something with the narrowing of the, the like, it, it was like they started off wider. And then they went in further for like the snouts. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. But to me, it it would only make sense that croc crocodile because it's salt water. I hear you. More salt water than it is fresh. But there's water. a lot of inner fre- There's a lot of inner fresh water. Okay, I, I hear you. And like they were on there's land, and they were on land, and, and then they, they had to get, and they had to get to the first source of water. Okay, uh, that's I, all I'm saying. That makes sense. That makes sense. So it seems like that alligators would be older than crocodiles. All right. I believe crocodiles are what, what much got, bigger Chris? than alligators. At least. <laughs> what man said at least. Oh, at least. what he said. Uh, whales are the uh, the oldest living mammals. They live to be at least two hundred. Uh, but you're not saying that they're the oldest whales. mammal. Period. You're you're just saying they live to be the oldest. That's all you're saying. Yeah, but they're not. We was asking. Look, fuck it. Y'all do the shit up in the comments. Me and Sam most definitely will right. interact with y'all. We do have to go. Sam, if you want to tell the people who you are one more time. Again, I'm Sam Moore. Saeed Moore. No, <laughs> <laughs> That's another joke for another time. AKA Saeed. <laughs> um, it's been a pleasure. I love you, Will Hill, yeah, boy. Day, man. All day. Uh, wow. It's been a, it's been a, it's been one, man. Like I, I'm, Look, I'm trying to get this leave, comedy be thing funny, together. G. Yeah, now we finna leave and gonna be funny. Uh, make sure y'all follow me on all social media platforms. Simply just will. Uh, make sure y'all are following our Patreon. Uh, new Will and Denise. Yeah, we got a new post up on our pa- uh, Patreon. Y'all do gotta tune in. It's some stuff that we put on there that the only way you know about it. Get on the Patreon. It's a dollar. One fucking dollar. But if you find me, uh, if you're looking for me, oh, I, I'm Cedric Love Moore yourself. on Facebook. C-E-D-R-I-C. Uh, no K whatsoever. Please don't do that. <laughs> uh, that's on Facebook and um, um, Instagram. I have yet to find me a Twitter. Uh, <laughs> but um, look me up. Find me. I got all types of videos in my inbox. You got you to gotta look at me. You got any shows coming up? You know what's funny? What? As much as I've been doing, I've never been booked. I, I just got my first booking. Congratulations. I had posted on Facebook. It's like my most liked thing on fucking Facebook. That's not a book. You got booked before the wedding was. No, no. I've, I've done private parties. I've done well, private see, events. We ain't talking private parties. Yeah, no. Forget I mean, that. I, we... we, we yeah, we've yeah, all, we've all done things. the the roast battles and the the, the blah blah blah. The, no, I'm talking like actual bookings from actual clubs, from actual promoters yeah. on the showcase. That's that's. I that's have totally yet to different. ever be booked on anything of that nature. I feel like it's coming soon. I hope. No, you funny enough, most definitely. Um, again, make sure y'all follow our Patreon. Um, new content is up. You get all the Will Denise stuff immediately. Uh, make sure y'all comment on, on the YouTube stuff just so I know what y'all think of it. If y'all like it, how am I supposed to know if you don't say nothing? You know what I'm saying? If you hate it, how am I supposed to know if you don't say nothing? <laughs> you gotta um, speak up. <laughs> uh, is that it? Anything else I need to plug, Curtis? All right, y'all. We out.